how do I prevent my mechanisms from backdriving? Sometimes in FRC, you may want to prevent your mechanism from backdriving, meaning when a motor drives it to a location and power is removed, you don't want it to go back to the original location under gravity or under some other force. Teams will often use ratcheting mechanisms, sometimes even the ones built into wrenches, to prevent this. There are a few downsides with that, such as not being able to release a ratcheting wrench if you need to then let the mechanism, in fact, backdrive or power itself backwards. It's also somewhat clunky to have a wrench on your robot, and it's not well integrated into FRC building systems. These issues led us to develop the Ratchet Sport, which is an add-on to any of our blue sport gearboxes, such as this one here. This mechanism allows ratcheting motion in one direction and prevents rotation in the other direction when in this state. It also comes with an optional pneumatics kit to let you retract the pawl and have it spin freely in both directions. You can run the ratchet in the ratcheting direction to raise a mechanism, for example, and then cut power and it will stop rotation in the other direction, preventing the mechanism from falling until you want it to, at which point you can release the ratchet and it'll fall. This can be very handy in things like elevators or climbing mechanisms where you don't want the robot or the elevator to sag back down after you've climbed or raised your elevator, but you may need to retract the elevator at a later time to go get another game piece. So being able to retract with a pneumatic is useful. This is the only ratchet designed specifically for FRC where you can retract the pawl under a significant amount of load which can be useful for multi-stage climbing operations where you're supporting the entire weight of the robot while retracting the climber, or maybe a catapult, for example. There are many use cases that this new uh, technology opens up. The basic components of the ratchet are the ratchet gear, the pawl, and in our case, this carrier plate, which allows it to interface smoothly with the rest of the sport gearbox. So these two connect together like that. As the motor spins the ratchet gear, the carrier plate spins in unison, turning the rest of the gearbox. The pawl is off to the side and can come and catch these teeth as the ratchet comes around or click over them when it's spinning in the other direction. This ratchet gear has a pattern cut into it that allows it to interface with the standard 16 tooth pinions that all the motors for the sport gearbox come with. It just slides over the teeth like that and transfers the torque. And that is how you prevent backdrive in an FRC robot. <laughs>